Here at Marymount, we have many students who have been here a long time. Lifers have been here since nursery, while survivors are girls who joined Marymount in kindergarten. <laughs> My class has six lifers and six survivors. Every year, each group gets their own yearbook page. But this year, there have been many jokes about shaking up tradition and creating an entirely new page just for me, the <laughs> ultimate lifer. <laughs> they aren't wrong, considering my history of Marymount goes far beyond the lifer category. My mother started working here 23 years ago, long before I was even born. My birth was announced in the Dream, our school newspaper, <laughs> in the January 1999 edition. <laughs> our school's last remaining RSHM sister is my godmother, and she held me in my baptism, which, of course, occurred in the Marymount Chapel. <laughs> I have a younger sibling and three younger cousins who all attend Marymount. And when I was little, there was a brief period of time when I was actually convinced this place was called Marymount, <laughs> because I was told it was named after me. <laughs> As I am faced with leaving Marymount at the end of this year, I look back and realize exactly how formative this school has been for me. I stand here today as a senior who is involved in a myriad of activities. One of the closest activities to my heart is our school's volleyball team, which I was the co-captain of this past fall. When I started high school, I had never played a team sport in my life, but every girl and all the coaches were quick to encourage me to join. After just one season, the school inspired me such a love of the game that I went out on my own, joined a club team, and moved up to varsity the very next year. This past season was such an amazing experience for me. And as I led the team, I learned quickly that the most important part of my job was to inspire the team to become a small family. I could not be prouder of how that family grew as we eventually went on to make Marymount history by winning the New York State Championship. I am so much more than just a student at this school. And that is true for every girl who attends Marymount. <coughs> this school teaches and inspires every girl to go beyond what they think they're capable of and to fulfill our unified mission to challenge, shape, and change the world. This mantra has been the foundation of everything I have done here. But it is only now, as I look forward to a future that no longer includes Marymount, that I realize how truly prepared I am to go out and do just that. Those who know me well will be quick to describe me with a variety of words. Confident, happy, outspoken, opinionated, adventurous, and passionate. What those people don't all know is that I was not always this person, not even close. As a young child, I was very shy. <laughs> my idea of socializing was burying my head in a book, and all extracurricular activities were mandates made by my parents. My voice was rarely notable in class, and public speaking was more or less my worst nightmare. <laughs> I adamantly believe that I would not have transformed into the person I am today without the care and support from the Marymount community. It was my lower school teachers who advised me to leave my book in the classroom <laughs> instead of smuggling it under my coat to the playground. It was my middle school teachers that sparked my interest in history, French, and biology encouraging me to expand my knowledge and experience during my free time in the summer. It was every single teacher that I had during my junior year who went above and beyond to make sure that I didn't miss a beat despite missing over three weeks of school following a very serious concussion. It was this community that made me grow to feel so confident in myself that I'm able to stand here before you today delivering this speech. There are too many things that I will miss about Marymount to list my class is closer to family than friends. There's not a single girl in my grade who I wouldn't be happy with to sit down and eat lunch with. Every single one of us is marveling at how quickly the years have flown by. Because it is clear that whether you came new in ninth grade or you spent your entire childhood at Marymount, this school is an integral part of who we are. And saying goodbye to such an institution and the lifelong friends it has given us will certainly be a heart-wrenching farewell. Over the course of the next year, I will be taking a gap year between high school and my freshman year at the College of the Holy Cross. 
I've already been accepted into a program called Semester, during which I'll spend September through December sailing a 120-foot schooner from Australia to South Africa. I believe that this year will give me the time, the chance to take some time away from the regimented academics and gain some perspective on who I am and what I want to do with my life so that I can better take advantage of my four years in college. This voyage is daunting, yes, but I cannot be more prepared to dive headfirst into this entirely new experience and learn what the world has to offer me. I learned during my years at Marymount that what we learn in the classroom is just scratching the surface of what we can learn when we go out and apply our knowledge to the real world. The school has inspired me to learn all that I possibly can, gaining a broader perspective of the world, and then take what I've been given and use it to serve others as best I can. I can honestly say that I am truly excited for what lies ahead, and I am so grateful to this community for helping me be ready for a future full of endless possibilities. Thank you.